Welcome back to another Bean Energy. Today I'm going to be testing three charge controllers. My main goal here is to look at the efficiency. I've been looking at the PAL mister that I've used a lot and it looks like the efficiency is not anywhere close to the 98% that they advertise. So I was really curious on the Make Sky Blue and the EP Ever, which a lot of people like, how the efficiency looks in those models. Obviously very interesting is to see if between the Make Sky Blue and the PAL mister if there's any efficiency gains going with the more expensive Make Sky Blue. These PAL mister 60 amp charge controllers typically run about $100 to $110 on Amazon and they don't include anything fancy. All you get is what's on the screen. There is no Wi-Fi, no RS-485, anything like that. This Make Sky Blue, I ordered a 60 amp so that it would be the same and I ordered the version 119, which as far as I know is the most recent version of the Make Sky Blue controller. Unfortunately, there was a mix up and I ended up with a 40 amp model that is the version 118. I'm gonna consider this an opportunity. I'll be able to go ahead and test this out a little bit, see how it works. And I'm gonna get the version 119 60 amp model so I can do a more direct comparison to the Palmister. This one runs more like 140 bucks. Something that I noticed is that on the Palmister, you have this label on the back. And it's kind of a silly label because the label is attached to this film that they have on the metal before they cut it out. And so when you try to peel off the film, the label comes off with it. So it's kind of weird in that way. So it looks like it makes sky blue, they just didn't put that label on. And then of course the third one is gonna be this massive EP Ever up here. It is also a 60 amp charge controller. I've seen a lot of these around and in pictures and you just, you don't really see how big they are. This thing is massive. I was looking at the box that it came in and you could fit like four or five of these Palmister charge controllers in the same box that this EP Ever comes in. One of my thoughts on why the Make Sky Blue or Palmisters are so much less expensive is because they have the fan, which means they don't have to have as large of a heat sink. That doesn't help longevity wise because a fan is going to fail at some point and that could cause catastrophic failure unless it's able to throttle down sufficient. Whereas the EP Ever is just a passive heat sink, which means lots more weight. So I'm curious to see how that works and whether it's more efficient in order to not need any active cooling because I would imagine these are made to work in higher temperature environments, which is not gonna be easy for that heat sink to passively cool. All right, so let's get started on looking at the efficiency numbers for all three of these units. For those who haven't seen this setup, just give you a quick overview. I've got my solar coming in here on my DC breaker, and I have it coming over to the charge controller. From the charge controller, I'm going through this shunt, which is measuring my current into the battery and I've got a little screen for that, and that'll, that'll show how much we're actually going into the battery. In addition to that, I have my clamp meter, my DC clamp meter, and that'll give me a second reading for the current going in. I do have an inverter set up just to put a little load on the battery so that we're not uh, always topped off. And then this, of course, is a 200 amp hour, 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. So plenty of buffer there for us to do our tests in. Well, my conclusion here, we've got the Palmister 60 amp, the Make Sky Blue 40 amp, this is the version 118, and the EP Ever 60 amp. If you are looking for something that's compact, that is inexpensive, this Palmister is hard to beat. It's 108 bucks on Amazon. Make Sky Blue looks very similar. Um, I haven't actually opened this one up because this one's gonna have to go back to uh, the person I bought it from so I can get my 60 amp version, which is what I ordered. I ordered the 60 amp version 119. This is the 40 amp version 118. I think it just got mislabeled at the Amazon warehouse. No big deal. They'll take care of me, I'm sure. The prices on these, about 108 bucks for the Palmister, 140 bucks for the Make Sky Blue, and it was like 260 for the EP Ever. 
something that I never realized was how incredibly large these EP Ever units are. I had a little 10 amp unit that I bought just to play around with and ended up blowing it because I put too high of a voltage of solar panel into it. So be careful, don't do that. But it was just about as big as one of these 60 amp controllers, right? And it was passively cooled as well. But these things are 9.8 pounds and it is massive. You can fit four of these Palmister Make Sky Blues in the space that you can fit one of these EP Evers, whereas these are 2.4. So the weight is four times as much, which if you're putting in a stationary unit doesn't really matter. And it's 10 pounds, even an RV, who cares about 10 pounds? But you might have space constraints. This would work well for space constraints. I believe, because you always say you, you, you don't get a bargain for free, right? That's not really a saying. I'm just gonna say it anyway. These are cheap, partly, because the shipping is cheap. It only weighs one fourth of what the EP Ever weighs. When you try to ship one of these EP Evers from China, it costs you an arm and a leg just for the shipping. You pay almost as much for shipping as you do for the unit itself, which means you gotta get it sea shipped for it to be profitable at all, to make sense. Whereas these guys, I could even air ship them here and I still got a little bit of, of wiggle room. I don't wanna discount the Palmister as it's just cheap. I think the circuitry is okay. And I think that they were smart to release something with active cooling to offset the weight. Because if you've got active cooling, you don't need as much heat sink. And heat sink is heavy, kind of by definition. There is my opinion on these three controllers. I know some of you were kind of bugging me to get that Make Sky Blue, and I'm not, I'm not terribly impressed. I think it might be the, the additional features, not just the charging that makes them better. I don't know. I'll be interested to see how this one, because thankfully I was able to get a version 118, compares to the 119, because I think the circuitry does look different on the 119. Maybe they've made it more efficient and see what that looks like. As I'm editing this video, the Bean Energy channel has crested 500 subscribers. I want to thank every one of you for taking the time to show me I'm providing some value to you. If you'd like to support the channel, please click through on some of my affiliate links that I usually put down in my description when making your next purchase. Well, I love just providing valuable information and interacting with you. It makes it fun when Amazon gives me a nice month-end bonus for it. Keep the energy flowing.